Hi folks, it's Danny at Bradley James Classics and today's classic is a restoration project uh, and it is, of course, a Frog Eye Sprint whilst in Healy. Um, now, the car itself has been imported from America and it does have um, a complete uh, chassis and body, uh, no engine, no gearbox and not in the much in the way of a dashboard. Uh, so really, uh, this is for somebody who probably owns uh, some welding equipment and probably some deep pockets for a ground up restoration. But here is the car. It doesn't have any paperwork. And as I mentioned, it did get imported from North America. Uh, I can't tell you a great deal about this car other than the fact that it's been one of our trade-ins where we sell a car and then somebody else says you've got to take the old one away and that's what exactly what this one is. Uh, it does have a, uh, a fiberglass bonnet which is rather uh, partially incomplete, that bit's missing but again people in the know can do wonderful things. Um, part so expensive actually having a, a whole car to start with is a, is a good start um, at some point it looks as if this registration number uh, had probably been previously on whatever car this one come off of um, it is corroded it will need welding um, structurally and also cosmetically um, so it really is a rolling shell just for total restoration and renovation. That Citroen doesn't sound too healthy either. So a uh, quick video just to let you know. Here we are. The car itself. Total restoration required. Certainly floor pans. Almost certainly seals. I would have imagined uh, repairs to the uh, chassis. Uh, there's no screen on the car. So actually you are just dealing with um, very much a, a chassis that's gonna need repairs and body panels, which are predominantly there in need of repair too. No paperwork as mentioned. So a full on restoration project needs a source and engine and a gearbox which actually isn't the end of the world considering which ones are used in fact people do upgrade them and put larger engines in and things like the mg um, midget for example but here we are um, just a quick look round and you are welcome to come and have a look at it it's going to be kept in our storage barn uh, however if we set your expectations that the car of obviously needs a total restoration. This tire's perished, but it does have a couple inside. Uh, wow, it does have its steering wheel and the wheels do turn, but that's pretty much all there is left of this interior. And there's the base of the rear seat here. And it looks like someone's been sitting on this uh, tire as a driver's seat. So yeah, this really is a ground up. And look how old these BF Goodridge tires are. They could even be original. I'm sorry, there's no paperwork with the car. I'm not aware of its history, other than the fact that it is an American import. So you are looking at starting from scratch. Well, thank you for watching this little video, folks. I'm sorry I can't tell you a great deal more about this little car, but she's here in stock. She's available to be dropped anywhere in the country at a competitive price. Thank you very much for uh, watching these uh, five minutes. Bradley James, signing out.